Yes, we're about to record In the Chips with Barry. All right, go ahead. Oh, welcome to In the Chips. That's dryer, that's washer. I'm Barry, let's get in the chips. All right, so today we're going to uh, the East Coast for some Flavors of Philly tomato pie flavor. This is from Coro Palese Italian Bakery and Deli. Uh, these are sent out by Bobby. Thank you very much, Bobby. We don't get hers out here that much, uh, let alone specialty ones like this one. So it is a real treat. I don't know why it says artificially flavored because that looks pretty straightforward to me. Like, why do you need artificial flavors for that? But it smells like potatoes and oil, but as we know, that's not an indicator of flavor quality or strength. Ridged potato chips, decent thickness. Look like they're pretty well coated, even if the color does not look like it's natural. Tomatoey with a bit of sweetness, and there is a slight cheesiness to it too. So this tomato flavor is pretty sweet, but according to the bag, Colo Polese, that's how they do. And with the cheese on there, it's kind of nice. I've never had this tomato pie that they have on the front of the bag, but it tastes pretty good to me. It's always an interesting combination of sweet and salty, and I think they nailed that. Hers tomato pie flavored potato chips based off the tomato pie from Coro Polese Italian Bakery and Deli in Philadelphia. So apparently this is a partnership between hers and three local eateries in Philadelphia, uh, Coro Polese being a, you know, one of them. Um, people vote on them, and I guess there's going to be a winner, but... Whatever. This tastes good. I like it. I'm going to eat them. Definitely going to see if they can sandwich. All right. See you next time. <laughs>